guys, welcome back. Today we are doing a little golf retail arbitrage at the outlet mall. If you don't know what that means, we're gonna buy stuff for a little, sell it for a lot. We're gonna show you the whole process. Let's get into store number one and see what we can find. All right, Ashley, explain how this works for us. Well, first step is starting clearance because that's gonna be the best deals. Yep, guys, we are in clearance, taking additional 50% off. So that's a good start. This probably isn't the greatest example because obviously these did not sell. Yeah, we got a lifetime supply of white golf pants here, really big hot seller. And then if you could zoom in, yep. you're gonna go into, well, eBay's the easiest because they don't have as many restrictions as Amazon. So this is what we're looking for, guys. These uh, numbers right here, this is like the model number and then this is the styling. This isn't the greatest option, but here's actually how you search. You put in everything and then you hit the filter go down to completed and sold items to actually see what, what they sold for. So one of them sold free shipping $44.99 and eBay takes a 10% cut of that plus your shipping fees. So not really gonna make a profit on these ones because 50% uh, off of 65 is 32.50. Yeah, that was on the fly math for me. That was pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, we're not gonna make any money cause shipping is gonna be like $10 and then their fee. So not the best start. Shoes are usually a better bet than clothing. I have no idea why, but these things are marked down to $114.97. These are the Spieth uh, twos. The size doesn't really matter. I mean, if you get a big goofy size, it's not gonna sell as well, but uh, it really doesn't matter. And these are 40% off additionally. So that comes out to like, uh, I think like $70. So we look these things up. Uh, so yeah, they're selling for $86 free shipping. So again, not really gonna make money, but that's basically the process. Shoes are really easy, especially Nikes, cause they'll have the model code in there and everything for you to check out. We'll probably head over to Nike to show you how that works. So up there at the front, we spotted that guy clearing out this entire section. He is literally doing retail arbitrage while we were here. They don't have any golf shoes, so we're gonna check out what he bought, I think, 30 boxes of, so Ashley's already looked it up. These are the Nike Zoom, what are they? Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo. Says suggested retail 180, they're selling for 100. Ashley, what are they actually selling for? 150 or 180. 150 to 180, yep. so yeah, you're gonna make a pretty good uh, margin on that. So plus, uh, that's why that guy bought 30 of them. Plus they glow in the dark. Plus they glow in the dark. What could be better than that? <laughs> Ashley went up and asked how much that guy actually spent. Ashley, what did he spend? 1400 And the guy said that that's not the first time he's been in there, that he comes in there often and buys. He thinks it's like a side business. So you're selling him, best case scenario, for $160. He's buying them for 100 so say $107 with tax. Yeah. So $160 minus 170 or 107 is $53. Plus you have to take into account shipping, eBay fees. I think he's probably going to make like $30 per that, so $1,400, that's what, 14 pairs, so 14 times 30. Dude did pretty good, but that's a lot of money to invest. Another thing to look for if you uh, actually go out and do this are running and track shoes. For some reason, they sell them for super cheap in the store, so these are $20, and especially if they have the cleats that go with them, already with them. You could still sell them without, but you'll get a lot more money with them. These are uh, $20, valued at $82.50. Let's see what they're selling on eBay. Um, 55, maybe 66 if you're lucky. So 60 bucks average, so you're making $40 and then plus the fees, you're still doing pretty good. So kind of hard to resell, but if uh, you're looking for a new golf hat, come out to Burlington Code Factory, $10. I think these things usually sell for like 25, but they're really hard to ship. You need a specialized box for them. Um, so, but if you're looking for a golf hat for yourself, pick them up, they got a bunch of them. Actually, if you go onto USPS, so the post office, you can buy hat boxes priority. They for have specific free. ones? Yep, hat boxes. Yo, someone's running out. <laughs> Made our way over to the golf shirts. Uh, oh, that's not a golf shirt. I think that's like a baseball shirt. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that brand is. Nautica. What else do we got? GSX. I think that's Guess or something like that. Oh, we got a Link Soul. Why is this a Burlington Code Factory? That's like a high end, uh, kind of like a hipster golf brand. Comparable value, $46, $18. Ashley, look that one up really quick. $45, not including shipping. Whoa, $45 for this shirt. So what is that? So that's 18, so you're making 27 plus the fees. So you're making like 15 bucks on that. Sh clothing is really easy to ship. So uh, yeah, no stains or anything. That's pretty cool. I found another Link Soul. This is a button down, full on shirt. It's like t-shirt fabric, kind of goofy. They're getting comparable value, 48. This is $20. We looked it up and it is uh, going for about 40. So another way to uh, make some profit here, Link Soul. 
you might be the uh, the ticket here. Oh, I didn't know it was owned by Ashworth. I thought it was its own thing. We got a uh, Oakley shirt. Looking snazzy as always, Oakley. This is a prime example why you need to look things up because this seems like an awesome deal. Nike skirt, $75 originally, going for 20, but I guess women are just smarter. Literally selling for exactly 20, so you are losing money. May seem like you're, you know, $50 difference. No, losing money. Always look things up. I think these are uh, Adidas ladies golf shoes. What do we got? $17.99. Here's how you look up Adidas shoes right in here, right where the uh, tag is. You look for the art number and the art number is AC8788. You plug that into eBay and it'll tell you how much they're going for. Ashley? And it'll tell you that these are actually field hockey shoes. Well, those aren't golf shoes? <laughs> no. What? Oh, yeah. Those are pretty aggressive spikes for uh, golf, I guess. These are field hockey shoes, but how much are they going for? <laughs> 50 to 45. Yeah, so you're still gonna make somebody on some field hockey shoes. These are $17.99. Selling for 50. My bad, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we need a big score here. Just picked up some Crocs and a hat. So uh, yeah, we need to make some money. Big score, hopefully. We found some uh, Under Armour golf shoes, some Under Armour Tempo 2s, some brown leathery uh, Under Armour golf shoes. Some other Under Armour golf shoes and two pairs of Nike golf shoes. Hopefully we can make some money on those because there's two of them. Ashley, what are we getting for the uh, Tempo 2s? They're the Tempo 2s are going for like 75 free shipping. 75 free shipping. How much are they? 40. 40 bucks. So that's 35 minus fees. Shipping is probably going to be 10 bucks. So only like 15 to 20 bucks on that. What are these going for? The leather spikeless are going for around 90. So 90. Mix, some free shipping, some not. So you All right, so we'll say not free shipping. So 90 minus the, so they're going for 28. So say 30, $60 minus shipping of $10. Yeah, these are definitely gonna be uh, the highest profit so far. Hopefully we can continue the trend. Let's see what we got here with these Nikes. We got two pairs of these, mind you. So hopefully we get some good, All right, they're going good for dollars. For 30, and I think uh, you could do 55 free shipping. Nope, also, that's not gonna happen. No, even with two. These are some of these were going for 100 free shipping. So 100 for these? These look like two years old. I don't know why they'd be going for so much. Mm -hmm. What year are they? Model year 2016. Yeah, I don't, I, we might be looking at the wrong ones. Oh, yeah, I forgot to look these up. It's because this first time I've ever seen this. There's no way to look it up. Normally. Oh, there's no tag. Yeah, normally there's a tag. Can't figure out. Undetermined, I mean, but they're $40 and they're comparable value of 90. So we'll look them up deal. and let you know. 50% off additionally of their clearance stuff. And guys, they've got a lot of golf shoes. These are Nike Vapor golf shoes. Pretty fancy looking, all white, spikeless, but they uh, are molded like spikes, kind of cool. Size 13, going for $40. Ashley has them looked up already. What are they going for? 60 free shipping. 60 free shipping, so these are 50% off, $20, so that's $40 profit. Take into account the fees and shipping, you're probably gonna make like 10 to 15 bucks. That's not it, guys. We got one, two, these are the black ones going for the same price, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that's like $70 profit if you're just making $10 a pop, but you're probably gonna make $15 a pop. So yeah, good deal. Academy Sports, usually not like a discount retailer or anything like that, but their clearance sales, especially for their fishing stuff is unbelievable. We usually load up for the entire year one time, but 50% off additionally, that's pretty awesome. Looks like they got some golf gloves here, some Callaway Opti colors, uh, all the different fancy colors, $8 half off. What are they going for on the eBay? Like 15 to 23. So 15 to 23, that's probably with uh, free shipping. Shipping's only gonna cost you like two bucks. So for a total of probably $6, you can make some uh, almost like $8 a pop and there's a bunch of them here. So very good deals here at the Academy. All right, Ashley is petrified of pumpkin flavored things. I got the largest pumpkin spice, whatever this thing is. Let's see if she'll drink it. Not happening. Do it. Challenge. It's like a mouthful of potpourri. You know how some people don't like cilantro? It tastes like soap. This is my arch nemesis. Instant taste. It's like, oh. All right, guys, there you have it. A little bit of fun and business in today's video. We do this every once in a while, so let us know if you want to see another video like this. We ended up picking up those track and field shoes, the field hockey shoes, which I thought were golf shoes, but were not. We got some Nike golf shirts 
and some gloves that you saw at the end. I ended up the big winner though with the hat and some Crocs. So uh, yeah, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time, guys.